on the subscribe button and press on the bell icon to watch my all new videos another important topic of what uh, this uh, i mean types of fluid okay i mean but types of fluid but it will classify the types of fluids by using rheological this is known as rheological uh, graph you can say that we are having two terms one is shear stress and here is rate of shear strain rate of shear strains mean what du upon dy and here what is tau du upon dy so basically what is rheological classification according i mean uh, these things tell us that relation between tau and du by du by as well as the, their behavior how both the terms relating with each other for particular fluid we will study in this topic only if you remember I have already shared with you the relation between tau and du by dy in case of non-Newtonian fluid is here. What is that? Tau is equal to C i d u upon dy whole to the power n. And here n is what flow index and C i means consistency index. All right. Now let's talk about all these type of fluid. Newtonian fluid is what? According to this, what we must get that tau is equal to mu du upon dy. When we'll get this equation from here, when ci is equal to mu and n is equal to 1. When ci is equal to mu and n is equal to 1, then we can say that the fluid is what? The fluid is Newtonian fluid. Alright, now let's talk about pseudoplastic fluid. I will tell you also example, that's why you will get if you'll get questions, most of the time you'll get questions from examples only. In case of n is less than 1, then it is known as what? Pseudoplastic fluid. Example, blood and milk. There, there may be other examples, but I will share with both the examples. Blood and milk. In case of Newtonian fluid, already I have shared with you water, air, petrol, Ethanol, benzene, all are examples of, examples of what Newtonian fluid. Now let's talk about dilatant fluid. If n is greater than one, then such type of fluid known as what dilatant fluid. The example sugar solution, right? Now ideal fluid. If mu is equal to zero, then we'll say this as ideal fluid example don't have if you'll find out tell me okay i will share in my video tutorial all right so okay now you got the point newtonian dilatant ideal fluid pseudoplastic fluid now let's go for bingham plex plastic fluid this is really important so before going to share with you about it i'll share with you uh the definition okay the definition of bingham plastic b P. All right. What is the definition? You must know the definition, right? So the definition is it is viscoplastic, viscoplastic material, material that behaved as a rigid body at low stresses but flows as a viscous fluid at high stress. So this is the definition of what Bingham plastic fluid. I hope you understand the relation, right? So all these fluids play most important role, right? Now I will share with you the next in the next tutorial the next part of this rheological classification. The two most there are other two most types most important types of fluid which I will discuss. Those are rheopactic and uh, thixotropic. I will share with you the difference between both the fluids. That's why you get inside information from uh, from this word from the tutorial all right so thanks for watching thank you very much and i hope to see you soon in my next video tutorial bye bye